That, that's it. I mean, I just take out... I say it's not a circle. It's not a sphere. Right away, what do you have in your brain? Well, you think it's flat and there's water falling off into the fucking outer space, like Bugs Bunny? So either you have a square or, or a circle in your head. It's either Coke or Pepsi with the shape of the planet. What if it's bigger? What if there's more land that they're hiding from? This is a great painting. It's supposed to be Jupiter. It's funny, any telescope, you try to get the high-powered digital telescope, you won't see this. You won't go, oh, wow, it's exactly... They'll show you a little light. You'll never see this. This is like you got to get the big fucking telescopes. And then if you shoot at fucking Jupiter, I've talked to these guys, these astronomers, and they're like, oh, man, no, it takes like... How long does it take to get the photo after you point it at Jupiter? It takes about two years. They just like, we just point it, we put it in our quadrants and our coordinates, and we don't get the image until two years. <laughs> and it took me two years to even access that telescope. I was like, oh my God, that is like five years down the tube, man. <laughs> like for all you know, it's like, that's it. I mean, I think this is just paint spilt and bleeding into itself. Nice little images that they make at Area 51. All right, but they make you think it's saucers. Area 51 is all these spaceships. They got aliens down there, man. They're fucking they're landing on this planet. All right. Oh, this is an actual. Okay, so that one was Jupiter. This is uh, Io, the moon of Jupiter. Am I lying? By applause. <laughs> By applause. Am I lying? Is this like, did I make this moon up? This planet up? Did I make this? This is a homemade moon. By applause. Okay. By applause. If you think this is really Io, the distant moon of Venus. <coughs> no. This is a fucking actual moon of Jupiter called Io, NASA. I think it's just a close-up on bad acne, you know, and then they just ran it through like a saturation yellow filter on Adobe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's not an Adobe crowd. Do you remember when Pluto was a planet? Yeah. What happened to that shit? We were at nine planets, and now we're at eight, like, and everybody's like, huh, okay, we were off on our solar system. Uh, we're not nine planets, we're eight. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. I noticed that. Everybody else went back to bed. You know, like, you know, like, you know, like we're saying, it's nine planets going around the sun. And then suddenly, like, in the year 2000, what, seven, eight? After fucking Y2K, uh, we fucked up. Pluto's not a planet. That's, no, 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 no. You don't fuck up on planets. You can't fucking tell me for 500 years that there's nine fucking planets and they just try to slip it in the Yahoo front page. Uh, we discovered Pluto's too small to be a planet. Sorry, <laughs> we fucked up. There's only eight. Like, come on, you can't just do that and I go, mm -hmm, and suck my thumb and, you know, eat your fucking shit pad bloom. There's no fucking way. What about the guy who works at NASA and he just studied Pluto? That's all he fucking learned. He went to university. This poor sucker. What's he doing now? He's fucking on the street, penniless. There's nothing to do. He just studied one fucking planet. You know how they get become specific in their physics and they study a planet from a picture they've never fucking seen. They're like, I'm an expert on Jupiter, man. No, no, no. I know Mercury inside out. I fucking find out the news. It's like, uh, what are you doing here, man? Well, I came in for work. Dude, didn't you hear the news? What? Pluto's not a planet, man. <laughs> you were off, man. You were fucking way off. It's a moon. You screwed up. It's too small. Well, the light emissions were big enough to be called a planet. Because <laughs> apparently, that light in the sky, they were saying, was that picture they've been feeding was Pluto, <laughs> suddenly one day diminished rapidly. So they had to come up with something real fucking quick because that thing they fucking pointed at the sky, that's Pluto. That's moving around. It's like, oh, suddenly one day everybody's like, hey, uh, what happened to the light on Pluto? It's like, uh, did, that, uh, did that bulb go out? And then there was a big debate. Well, we can't decide whether it's a planet based on how much light we see. This is ridiculous. You got to give us more to work on. Like, uh, like a rocket that sends us there to check out to see if it's big enough to be a fucking planet. You know, like, no, nobody's going out of this shit. They're just taking NASA's. I mean, one day NASA could come out and say something on fucking Yahoo and we'd all be like repeating it. Like, we'd just be like, yeah. It's like, uh, we found a distant planet off the distant moon Io of Jupiter. And I'd be like, wait a minute, are you saying, there'd be a bunch of fucking Star Trek physics nerds at NASA going, wait a minute, are you saying that moons can have their own planets? That's fucking crazy. You're saying planets can revolve around moons now? 
Oh my God, planets can revolve around moons. And they'd be flipping out. Oh, they, they, we can, moons have planets too, man. It just keeps going. This, this is a moon, uh, a moon they discovered off of, uh, off of um, uh, Mars. It was Opipapa. And if you do a close-up on it, you see all the craters and the texture of the moon on my shirt. There it is. It's just that. It's just a bunch of paint. <laughs> Next image. Next image. I'm having too much fun up here. You guys should fucking join me. All right, so uh, there you go again. I mean, is this a painting or is this a cartoon? <laughs> fucking challenging the whole thing, eh? It's like, wait a minute, you're saying that's, that's a drawing? How are you going to know? Next image. Do we got another one after this? Oh, this is amazing. Slow it, pause it, pause it. This is unbelievable because they got a really distant shot into the uh, the, the quasar. Um, what is it? The um, Sirius Sirius uh, quadrant. It's like a galaxy, a couple galaxies over to the left. Unbelievable stuff. They got some amazing photos of uh, uh, supernovas, their suns basically that are actually exploding or being created. And this, they've never seen this before. This many suns actually colliding and exploding in their creation process all at the same time. And they actually came up with a new term for it. It was a collisionary supernova. Unbelievable that they actually caught this. If you get a zoom in on this, there's a zoom in that Hubble did on this. These are actual fucking suns being formed. Unbelievable. Look at this. All these fucking suns. Can we get another? Keep going. And they're being formed on a Christmas tree. <laughs> Next one. Unbelievable. How many things? Oh, this is amazing. We just went to Mars. Hey, big round of applause now for the Americans going to Mars. And this is the official image of them landing there. It's fucking funny. It's like, isn't it amazing how they were landing there and they had, they already had an airbrush artist with his easel set up to paint it land that quick? Unbelievable. How many people think this is real? This is the official landing. Oh, then they got another one with a, a metal sort of pipe and sand in black and white. That's proof. They were there, man. They're landing on the sand. Check it out. That's it. There you go. Some more images. This is what they're doing on Mars right now. Moving around with their little rover. That's a real photo. Look at that. that was, this is another. This is another. I swear to God, they're on Mars right now. Look at that. This thing's moving around. I don't even know what it does. It's like a, a weird sort of... Uh, Sample collector. It's a spider. It's a spider sample uh, sampler. It's a spider sampler. Sand sampler. It's a sand sampler. They call it. Well, it's and getting spice. It's, get, it's getting spices from Mars. Yeah. yeah. Go to the next one. And they're on Mars. That's unbelievable. Big round of applause for the Americans finally accomplishing something. That's amazing. And this is it. This is what. Pause right here. This is what's amazing. I was trying to figure out like uh, they they brag about like at what distance the Hubble telescope can like get a picture of space. And uh, I want to know what was the furthest this thing could like get a picture of our universe, right? And uh, this is it. It's, um, is that 14 billion? It's 14 billion. 14 billion light years, which is unbelievable if you know light years. And I know you, this is a light year crowd. I could tell like you, go, but, um, <laughs> right? 14 billion light years. That's unbelievable that a camera would get that distance. The only problem is, is that I never measure distance in, uh, in time. I'd never gone up to somebody and said, like, uh, how tall are you? Oh, I'm 42 years old. <laughs> That's the only problem here is uh, they make it, <laughs> they bamboozle you. Well, first with the whole concept of, like, What's the furthest distance? Oh, that's 14 billion light years. Uh, okay, uh, in kilometers? Oh man, that's difficult. I mean, we're talking light years. This is really fucking far, and we're at 14 billion of them? Do you want to know how much one light year is? And so then I did the, uh, the research. Uh, one light year, one fucking light year, one light year out of the 14 billion light years is uh, I don't even think we have a fucking name for this number, do we? That's like, that's, what is that? That's what we got, we got a billion here, and that's like 10 trillion? trillion. 10 trillion kilometers is one light year. This is where the math becomes intimidating. You just give up and you go, you're right. You're right, NASA. You've got so many fucking zeros. I wish I could get a fucking paid a check like that. 
That's fucking, what is this, the Matrix? What am I looking at here? I'm like, eh, where's Neo? You know, like, you want the red pill or the blue pill? You know, like, what is this? Like, and then this is what it, I times it. So I 14, 14 billion times 10 trillion fucking kilometers fucking gives me, you just give up. You're like, you're like,